think it's important when you're speaking to somebody to dig into the next steps and find out if there's any other parts of the sale or anything else involved before you hang up. So when you're speaking to a decision maker, sometimes it's not the actual decision maker and you guys are talking and it seems like a great lead, but you don't dig deep enough to find out if they're the person that's going to be making the final decision. Is there anybody else in their team that you're going to be involved with? And can we get buy-in from them to shorten the sales cycle? Because a lot of times somebody will come to me and say, hey, I got this great lead. And I'll say, great. So how's this going to work? What's, what are the next three or four steps? Who else is involved? And they don't dig quite deep enough. And we have to have two or three more calls when we could shorten that cycle and find out all the players and then map out from now until closing. And it happens a lot more efficiently and effectively that way. There's a book just written and released, um, three guys out of uh, the UK called Problem Prospecting. I love the book because it aligns with the way we look at the world. You know, a qualified lead by definition is someone that has a problem you can solve that must be solved now, period, right? I do not want anything else entering my pipeline, entering my process. If it's not a problem that we can solve, that must be solved now. Oh, no. So it's a qualification process that says, are you ready to buy from me? And are you well aligned with the solution that I offered? Notice I'm not pitching my solution. I'm defining their problem. We define a problem very simply. Want impact plus a need. The win equals the problem. Can I do that in five minutes? Yes. Uh, do that. Identify that, that what by when. Make sure it's going to be, you know, depending on your sales cycle, now could mean next two weeks, next two months, next three months, next year. In the automotive industry, it's a four or five year sales cycle. Whatever now means to you, that time component must be, must be there and you must qualify for it. So you're not doing what Frank is suggesting. You're not wasting time on cycles that aren't going to end up in a sale. 60%, 58% based on some estimates of a B2B sales pipeline today and in no decision. You're wasting 60% of your time with that comes into your pipe if it's not qualified properly. Don't make that mistake. 